comma negative 2. Okay, that is also correct. Now, you know how to plot here in the equation plane. So let's activity. No? In this equation plane, okay, no, there are points located on each quadrant. No? Now you will so you will identify the coordinates of each point. No? We have point here, point here also. The point, okay, you can see the point here. So you will identify the coordinates of each point. So you will write, for example, negative two comma negative two. Uh, you negative two comma negative two. You will write the coordinate. Okay, guys. Okay, now what point is this? What coordinate is this? That is correct. Next one. What point is this? What what the coordinate? Right. Okay, that is correct. Indicate below to the final. 
image. So here is the graph huh? and here is the pen. This is the coordinates. Huh? So you have five minutes huh? to finish that task. After five minutes, we will post here in front. Okay, you have five minutes. Negative six from four, four from negative five, one from three, negative four from negative five, positive seven from negative uh, positive two. Okay, that's two minutes. Finalize. You will connect it up. So that we can find the hidden shape. What shape is that? Okay, you will post it in front. Here is the name. Here is the name. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that's nice. Cartesian, Cartesian, we have application in problem solving. 
So here is the problem. This dream of Eden are laid out in a square dream with a square seating blocks. Joseph and Misha both start out at the intersection of the Eden Street and Kudu Avenue. Joseph walks four blocks north, no? then five blocks west. You can write that, you can write. Meanwhile, Misha walks six blocks south, then two blocks east, then ten blocks north. Okay. If the intersection of each street and Kudu Avenue is considered as the origin, finding the coordinate corresponding to Joseph location. No? How far is Joseph away from Nisha? So first, what should we do? First, let us consider the paths followed by this Joseph Nisha. So here, um, look, it is a condition page. So this is a good avenue. No? We said that we said that uh, Joseph walks four blocks, no? then five blocks west, you see? And Misha walks six blocks south, then two blocks east. You know, two. So we find the negative five and comma four, and negative two comma four. Yeah. The coordinates of the place where Joseph stands are negative 5, 4, and then Misha is 2, 2. The location of Joseph and Misha have the same. No? So why is the coordinate? So the distance between them is the absolute value no? of the difference between the x coordinate. So here, 2 minus 95, why 2 is 95? No? We can say that the absolute value of the difference between is the x coordinate. So we, uh, we use no? the, the, the negative 5, negative 5 by 2. No? So that is equal to 7. So therefore, Joseph is 7 blocks away. From Misha. So, generalization. Okay, I have a special and you can uh, answer my question. Okay, so what is partition A? No? What is partition A? Okay, yes? What is partition A? Plane. My axis. 
that they have direct y axis. So what do you call the horizontal axis on the Cartesian plane? X axis. So last, who invented the rectangular coordinate system also known as Cartesian plane? Correct, brilliant parts. So we have our uh, now. I want you to evaluate what learning we have today. Okay? Evaluation. I will give you a test question here, and you will answer in 10 minutes. No? So this is the type of questionnaire we give to you a math level password. After that, no? if you will pass the exam, the evaluation, you will receive a passport, no? It is uh, additional points if you do pass the exam, okay? Here are the question. Okay. Okay. Let me Okay, let's do minutes, finalize your answer. So, this is the end of our lesson. Thank you for the day. Goodbye, class.